Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my April wrap up and my May to be read. This is the first time I've filmed a video like this, so let's get started. This month was actually a pretty good reading month for me. I got through a lot of books. So this month, strangely enough, I've had um, a sort of weird craving for Harry Potter books. I have no idea why. I think I watched The Goblet of Fire one day um, at night, like a movie night kind of thing, and I just suddenly was really nostalgic about the Harry Potter books because I really do love them. So um, I have one book here, but I read the source, um, the Philosopher's Stone, I read The Chamber of Secrets, I read uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, and I read Goblet of Fire. So I read those four this month, and it was only, and it took me like, it didn't take me very long, it took me a week to read these four books because, um, they're quite short, I mean, if you call 300 words short. I've seen longer books, so J.K. Rowling is just such a great writer and it's just, I just breezed through it. So I did read four of those books at the beginning of the month and I really enjoyed it. So after that, I received a Lady Midnight in uh, the mail. I ordered it on Amazon when it, as soon as it came out and then I got it in two days and I read it and I absolutely loved it. I read it, it's like 800 words. This book is 800 words and I read it in one day. One night to be honest. I didn't sleep that much that day. This is Cassie's most recent book and I really do love her. I feel like her writing is amazing and stuff. So I really really enjoy this book. I think I might like this more than all of her other books except for Clockwork Princess because Clockwork Princess and Heavenly Fire are amazing. But like for the first book of a series, this one is so good and I feel like her writing has really improved a lot and I really do love the characters in here and I'm really really excited to read the next book. Really enjoyed this one. And then after Lady Midnight, I picked up Vicious by V. Schwab. Um, this is a book I had I picked up a really 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 long time ago and I intended to read it but I never really did get around to it. But then after reading Lady Midnight, I was kind of like on a reading kick and I wanted to read more books. So I saw this one on a shelf and I realized I hadn't read it in a long time so I picked it up. And this book, it's, it really is quite hyped up on YouTube and um, for good reason. I read it and I absolutely loved it. It's a very fast paced book. It starts out a bit slow, but then um, gradually it just speeds up and it becomes amazing and the writing is spectacular. I really did love it and once again, it's it's quite short and um, I found the writing made it a really easy read to get through and also I read this in like one or two days as per usual. I'm one of those people that Either I finish a book in one or two days or I have to finish it in like three months. There is no in-between. Most of the time, if it's really good, I will just stay there and I will finish it. Enjoyed this one. I want to call it one of my favorite books of all time, but I feel like that's such a bold claim. But me having to consider calling it that shows you just how good it is. Really recommend. And then after that, I don't have the book with me because I borrowed it from the library and I returned it already. But it is Winger by... I forgot. I forgot the author's name. I'll put like a picture of the book right here and also the author's name. Um, I read that one. It's also a pretty hyped up book and um, people on YouTube convinced me to read it and I picked it up. I read it. Took me a bit longer to go through it than it did take me for the other books and it was alright. I, I, I think I gave it a two stars on Goodreads. It really wasn't my favorite. It was kind of like a bit annoying for me to read. And then lastly, um, Winter by Marissa Mayer came out as well. So of course I picked it up because I freaking love the Lunar Chronicles. So of course Winter came out, had to read it. It's 800 pages long, um, just like Lady Midnight. I think it's 800, it's like 700. I got halfway through this. Actually, I got like a fourth through it. Um, it's not as fast paced as the previous books in the Lunar Chronicles, but I am enjoying it. I love Winter, so I have read this halfway and I will be intending to finish it very soon. So these are the books I have gotten through in the month of April. And then we talk about my May to be read. Firstly, obviously, I will be finishing Winter by Mercer Mayer. I'm just gonna keep forging on. I'm gonna hope it gets 
so much better. And then after that, in, I intend to read To Heal a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Believe it or not, I have never read this book. I never read it at school and people say it is amazing. So I, sh I really thought I should start on it. It's like, it's like a classic. So I do want to read it so I can discuss it with other people. And then also I will be reading What We Talk About When We Talk About Love from Raymond Carver. Now this is a kind of funny story. In the movie Stuck in Love, in the movie there was a character and he said that his favorite book is what we talk about when we talk about love and he quoted um, a section from it and I really did love that section so I wanted to pick it up and it's a collection of short stories basically and it's really short so I thought I would get around to it this month and then after that I want to read A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab I believe um, it's also a book that's really hyped up on booktube people gave it really really nice comments I don't have it in physical copy I have it on my kindle so I'll insert a picture as usual of the book cover here it has been really highly recommended and that intrigued me so and then lastly um, we had to do like a book report at my school, so I'm going to be reading a Chinese book. It's a book originally written in Japanese by a Japanese author and then translated into Chinese and I really do love Japanese books. And I get through Chinese books really slowly. Like it takes me twice as long to get through a Chinese book than it does to take me to get through an English book. So I thought I would only have like less books because it takes me more time to get through a Chinese book. So here are my May to be reads and if there's only two physical books here the rest are all on my Kindle so I can't really show them to you. I hope it goes really well and I do hope that I will get through all of these books because I am very excited to read them. So that is it for my April wrap up and my May to be read. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!